Just to warn you, this video contains many spoilers regarding season one of Royal Secrets. So if you have not completed the entire season, then please do not watch this video because there will be a lot of spoilers for those of you who haven't seen it. Um, but for those of you who have seen it, just feel free to watch this. And the link will be in the description for the playlist for the entire season one of Royal Secrets for those of you who have not seen it. So, thank you. It is Puppy Lover 863 here, or Daisy, however you want to call me. And before we begin, I just like to apologize in advance for our, if my voice sounds really weird. If you guys have been following me on social media, then you'll know that when uh, before I came back from vacation, I have somehow ended up with a cold, and I still have it. I'm in mean, one of the stages where my nose is really plugged up, and my voice. Okay, I'm back. That was my dad. But, uh, nevertheless, uh, I'm going to continue with this video anyway. So, as you can tell from the people behind me, it's going to be the Royal Secrets Season 1 Q&A video that you've all been waiting for. So, here we have all of the cast members. Get a quick overview. Awesomeness. Okay, and uh, the reason why they're here because I also asked you to ask questions um, regarding the actual cast, like things about them and stuff, what they enjoyed about making them. Um, yeah, and you're also gonna be asking questions towards me, Puppy Love 863. So, yeah, this first question everyone's been asking is there going to be a season two of Royal Secrets? And the answer to that is. Yes, there will be, as I said millions of times, so hopefully that answers that. There will be a season two, because they have more adventures coming ahead of them. Okay, but that is not the official first question that a fan asked, so uh, let's get to the real questions. So the first question is for me, and it's how did I come up with the series? To be honest, I had this idea like a long time ago, like 2011 and 2012, as early as that. And I don't know, it was just, I thought it would just be really cool to have a series with fantasy in it because I was actually inspired by Fantasyland Films because she does all sorts of fantasy like videos like The Last Dragon, which is now complete, um, and a bunch of superhero um, series like Phantom and uh, Sidekick Boy. I don't know, I think that was partially my inspiration. And then another, I've just watched a lot of movies uh, that have similar plot lines and I, I don't know, it was, just, it was just an idea I had a long time ago which slowly developed into the series that you know today. Next question is, why did Shelby start messing with the scissors in the first place and now she's being nice to them? Well, over here we have um, Kathy Way who is gonna answer the question for you, who plays Shelby. Okay, so as some of you may know, uh, Shelby is portrayed as the main antagonist in the beginning of the series and she started messing with them because let's just say long story short they had a rivalry and as you saw in episode 12 she revealed that she was jealous because she was so nice and all that and based on her past with her dad with domestic abuse she just felt so alone but it's just basically like a development of a bully like when uh, they're having a hard time at home that's usually the reason why others bully is because they want to feel their pain and that was kind of the story behind Shelby. But after learning that Fern and Florence are her cousins and just basically what was going on after Fern saved her and all that, she just had a change of heart overall. Thank you, Kathy. Now, this next question has been asked many times before this Q&A. How did I do the effects, like the magic effects, in the entire series? Not the entire series, but you know what I mean. So how I did the magic is, they're actually just After Effects I use, because I have another app called um, Motion for the Mac computers, which you can only get from the App Store and it costs about $50. And then I just put the effects on the editor I was using. And um, yeah, and I also tried gathering effects from online. And some of, them, some of the effects also came with my editor as well, like the filters and stuff. Another uh, question, this is for episode 12 of Royal Secrets, this part one of the season finale. What happened to uh, Shelby's dad, the main villain, 
uh, when he f well, he was raised up in the air and then you heard the explosion. Well, um, yeah, he was killed. Um, that's basically revenge because he was the one that killed uh, Shelby's mom. So, um, yeah, basically Fern and Florence got their mag used their magic to kill him. Um, they just raised him up in the air and then there was the explosion that killed him. On one episode, uh, Jordan wasn't wearing his blue collar and why wasn't he turning in white? Yeah, um, that was a bit of an error. In episode 5, um, you could see Jordan in his disguised form, his brown form, but he wasn't wearing his collar. That was a big mistake I made because I completely forgot, I'll be honest, I completely forgot to put the collar back on. So let's just say uh, for a period of time I could turn invisible because of a magic defect, you could say. I don't know, that's all I can say, but in all honesty, I just forgot to put it on. Sorry about that. Okay, and this next question, uh, is Fern named after anything? I think I'll let Maddie take over this next question. Maddie? Hi, I'm Maddie Morway and I play Fern and Royal Secrets. So, Popular Rate 63 actually told me about this. Basically, Fern was is a kind of plant and she actually got the name because if you guys have read Charlotte's Web, um, the girl in the story is named Fern and that and she had, hasn't seen any LPS characters named Fern, so bam. And this next question um, is pretty simple answer. Did Fern give Julie her cricket to Shelby? No, the cricket you saw with Shelby in episode 13, that was not a uh, Juliet, um, Fern's cricket. It was the cricket that Florence received for her ber 16th birthday before uh, Fern and Florence found that they were sisters. Like Fern gave her a cricket and since Fern would be living with Florence and Fern had her cricket, in the end that cricket was given to Shelby as a little present. Okay, is Fern short for Felicia? No, they're completely different names. Felicia was Fern's original name before her caretakers um, slash other parents uh, renamed her Fern when they saw the initials on her necklace, which has a long story with that. What's so special about Fern and Florence's collars? Well, they were born with the... not exactly born with the necklaces, but as you know in episode 11, a fairy came and blessed them with extraordinary powers which could only be unleashed through their necklaces and in one of the scenes the necklaces appeared next to um, Queen Rachel's crown and that's where they get their powers from it appeared because a fairy gave them powers that could only be unleashed through necklaces. Why was Shelby's dad so mad with Queen Rachel? Basically it's a whole other backstory so as you know probably figured out in episode 12 um, Queen Rachel is Shelby's dad's sister, so obviously there's got to be some other backstory to go with it. Basically, I can't really describe it because I have not explained their backstory. Hopefully I'll explain that in season two, but let's just say he was jealous of Queen Rachel for being the queen and stuff. That's, a that's all I can say. Okay, next question. Why didn't the magic um, work when Fern and Florence tried to heal Matthew in episode 12 when he was injured. So obviously Fern and Florence have healed a character before which was their dad and basically the reason why it didn't work on Matthew because basically one day unknowingly healed him. They had a bloodline connection to him basically. They were his daughters and he was their dad so yeah but Matthew is more of a friend to them than is more is more technically a friend than a family so Basically, Matthew just needed his uh, significant other to, or like, some connection with him. Some character that had a connection with him to activate it. How did I know that Alice and Matthew would be a good couple? I guess I'll let Shayna and Pongo answer this one. So, hey guys, hey, I'm Shayna and I'm Pongo and I play Matthew and I play Alice. So, in the series, um, as you figured out in episode 11, Alice uh, is an orphan that was saved by, who was saved by Queen Rachel, and she and him worked really well together throughout Florence's time in Potopia, and I don't know, somehow they got really close, and they eventually decided to become a couple. And before you guys ask, uh, no, we're not, we're not dating in real life, we're just friends. Well, I hope that answered your question. Thank you.
All right, next question. This is actually a random question, but what is your guys' favorite color? So my favorite color is purple, but the rest of the cast are gonna say their favorite colors. Apparently, here we go. Okay, uh, my favorite color is green, white, orange, pink, gold. Uh, does that count as color? If not, then yellow. Blue, blue, red, violet, yellow, purple, blue. Whew. Well, that was kind of random. Let's move on. Will she continue to be called Fern or go with her full title? We'll let Maddie handle that. I think only like royalty can address her that way or if any of her followers want to, but I think she honestly would like to be called Fern like she's always had in her, her whole life. And Felicia, I don't know if she's gonna give that up or not, but we'll find out in season two. Next question is for me, and it asks if I regret anything from Royal Secrets, like if I regretted creating a character, or relationship. Honestly, the only thing I regret is, only things I would regret would be the mistakes I've made, like creating confusion by adding more plot twists and stuff. Like for example, one mistake that I made was in episode 13, Florence explains to her boyfriend during the coronation that when he asks about the crown because she was wearing her bl a blue tiara instead of her usual yellow crown, she explained that it was destroyed when Shelby's dad tried to kidnap Alice. Well, that was a big mistake because when Alice was kidnapped, she was still wearing her yellow crown. So I guess you could say that um, she lied and she didn't want to embarrass herself in front of her boyfriend because she really misplaced it. Like I did because I really did misplace it and I was running out of time so I just came up with an excuse which I did not think over so I apologize in advance. When Fern found out that her real name was Felicia, like, why didn't anyone, her real mom, like, call her that, like, in the beginning? So in the beginning, since the parents knew that the girls were being hunted down, they didn't want to, like, say anything um, that could get them together, get them together, because then Shelby's dad, the villain, would find out that their powers are being used, but unfortunately, they do use their powers early and they, f they found out that mysterious things were going on, so obviously there was a lot to explain, so Rachel just kind of said it early anyway to avoid more confusion because she didn't want to be asked questions or anything. What are the actors' actual names? So we'll go in a row and we'll say the names. Here we go. Okay, so I'm Phineas Lockwood, as some of you may know because I've starred in Behind the Scenes and Hashtag Daras. And I play Luke, which is Fern's, I guess you could say, I wouldn't say nanny, I guess you could say more of a guardian. My name is Cherry Stark, and I play Jordan Pickens, I think, in uh, Royal Secrets, which is Jules' boyfriend, in his real form. And I know Cherry is a real name, but uh, Puppy Lover 6 3 got me in 2011, and she thought my color looked like cherry blossoms, so... Yeah, deal with it. My name is Richard Brown, and I play as Drake Michaels, who is Florence's boyfriend. And you might have seen me as a Bob Duncan in Good Luck Charlie. I know, I was a dad. So, and now I'm a teenager in high school, so that's kind of weird. But I'll go with it. My name is Hyacinth Silverstein, and I play Amelia Bernstein in Royal Secrets and I'm basically Shelby's best friend. And no, I am not dumb in real life, so please don't get any ideas. I'm Kathy White, I think you've already heard that, and I play Shelby Griffin in Royal Secrets, and I'm, I'm assumed to be the main antagonist, but as you know, all that changed. I'm Maddie Morway, and I play Fern Berkeley in Royal Secrets, yeah, that's pretty self-explanatory. And I'm Annie Morway, and I play Florence Kingsley in Royal Secrets, and yes, me and Maddie are sisters in real life, so that's cool. I'm Sheena Ellis, and I play Alice Baxter. My name is Destiny Davis, and I play Jules Bentley. I'm Pongo Spots, and I play Matthew Dillon. I'm Cadence Carruthers, and I play Rachel Kingsley. And I'm sure you've seen me in a few behind-the-scenes episodes. My name is Toby Ross, and I play James Kingsley 
And I played a minor character in season three of The Big Move that has been long gone. <laughs> well, now you know the characters. I mean, actors, actresses, sorry. What's your favorite ship slash couple in the whole Royal Secret series? Oh my gosh, this is really difficult. Cause as you know, there are three couples. Wait, are there three? Well, I'll just name them off. Florence and Drake, that's one. Two is Jordan and Jules. And then three, we have Matthew and Alice. So those are the three. I'm not sure if uh, Queen Rachel and King James count because they're already married. But I think Jordan and Jules' relationship is, is really cute. Because, I don't know, it's just the way uh, Jordan saves Jules is really cute. Oh, and I've noticed a lot of you have been using the ship name uh, Malice for Matthew and Alice. And you've just been putting like hashtags for Malice, so thank you so much. I'm really glad you like to ship the characters. Oh, also a lot of you have been asking, it's not just one person, a lot of you have been asking. It was like around the end of the season, like why Jules was mostly left out of a lot of things then um, because, you know, Jules is Fern's best friend and now in the end she was kind of left out. So basically, in the end, I really want to focus more on Fern and Florence's discovery on being sisters than the actual friendship, but obviously I'm going to- they're still friends, don't worry, they're still really best friends, she wasn't left out, I mean obviously she has her boyfriend now, so that's- that's a one- that's a one up in her life. But don't worry, uh, I'm gonna have some more interaction, a lot more interactions between Fern and Jules in season two. Don't worry. Next question is, where did I get the lemonade or orange juice accessories? Oh, uh, I think you meant these. <laughs> so these were the props that I used in episode 13. Oh, gosh dang it, they fell. These are yeah, these are the props I used in episode 13 when uh, Shelby, Fern, and Florence are getting drinks. So as you can see, these this is an orange pitcher, and then these two. This one I dropped it just now, and it chipped a piece. So yeah, that was pretty dumb of me. I have to buy another one. And then we have these two. They didn't come with a pitcher. Um, they just have like w like lemon water. As you can see the little straws. They're really sharp. So basically, a store with that. I bought them at Michael's Craft Store, and they had like a bunch of like miniature dollhouse stuff. And I thought that would that was just so cute, and I basically just like hauled on a lot of stuff, including these backgrounds, like sparkly backgrounds and flooring here. So I was planning on doing a haul video, which I recorded, but I deleted because I I don't know. I just didn't really didn't feel like it was necessary making a haul video. So now you know where I got them from. Next question is, was it fun making Royal Secrets? And if it was, what was my favorite part about making Royal Secrets? Yes, it was a lot of fun making Royal Secrets and I honestly didn't think it would take me this far. I mean, the first ep first episode and episode 10 have already have over 200,000 views. I'm surprised a lot of you guys liked it because originally I just planned on making another series because just make up for the fact that uh, the, the big move was ending because it wasn't an original series but Royal Secrets. I tried to make it as original as possible and I, I just loved making it because it was just full of magic. That was probably one of my favorite things because I would edit and then I would add in the magic effects to make it look real. Not real, but just, you know, like, look like they were, I, the characters actually possessed magic, and I think episode 10 was my, uh, it, it would be a tie between episode 11 as my favorite episodes, like, or parts to make, because they had a lot, and I mean a lot of magic in them, and I was just starting, and it was really fun. And following the previous question, someone asks me, do you think it's the best series I've ever done? Uh, next to Hashtag Daris, I think this is definitely one of the best series I've ever done. I mean, uh, not just beca because a lot of you guys liked it, but it's also just because I really enjoy doing it, and it's just a lot of fun to make. I mean, especially with the characters and editing. Like, between all that, it's just really fun. And Hashtag Daris, too, because when I uploaded the first episode, you guys... Oh my gosh, you guys are so awesome. I'm like, I open my page a day later and there's like a lot more views than what I get normally. So I'm just like, what the heck is going on? 
Okay, but going back to Royal Secrets, yeah, that's... I'm just, I really enjoy making it. I think it's one of my favorites to make. Also one of my favorites to make. This question is for Maddie. What was your favorite episode of Royal Secrets to film? It would definitely have to be episode 12 because it was the most intense out of all of them. And this next question is for Annie. Who is your favorite cast member to work with? And don't say Maddie. Hmm. Well, besides Maddie, I guess I would have to say um, Richard because he portrays my character's boyfriend and he was definitely a lot of fun to work with, but again, uh, like with Math Matthew and Alice, like the actors of Matthew and Alice, I mean, uh, me and Richard are just friends. Since Princess Florence was a princess back in her hometown, which is Potopia, is she still a princess in where she lives now? Technically not, because she moved from a foreign country to California, which is in the US, so technically she isn't a princess anymore, but I don't think she minds. But to a majority, like her fans and stuff, they consider her royalty. Like, you know, as you saw the paparazzi between episodes 2 and 3, and the, the, the school, the students, um, just surrounded her like she was royalty when she technically isn't anymore, but just seeing her home life, I think it just makes you want to be her, like the characters, I mean, but I think you get the idea. Alright, next up is, will Shelby be okay because when it was just Fern, the parents were never home? Because as, okay, so as you know, Shelby, she became uh, the d new daughter of Fern's, like, quote-unquote parents, like, like, you know, who raised her when she was separated from her sister. Now Shelby lives with them. After, like, just being told the whole story, I don't think the parents are gonna do that anymore. I think they're just gonna do what they can to maintain a, a normal life with their uh, new adopted daughter. I don't think they're gonna make that same mistake anymore after what happened. I mean, I know you pro guys are probably gonna be mad because that never happened to Fern, but I mean, now she's a princess and she's with her real parents now. I mean, that, that's that gotta be an up, upside for something. What made me think that I should make Florence a princess? I honestly don't know, and at, Florence is a character too. I honestly don't know. I mean, if you don't know, she played uh, the main, main antagonist, Catherine, uh, Catherine, I forget the last name, in The Big Move. And she wore like this pink crown most of the time, and I don't know. And being the fact that um, Annie and Maddie are sisters on behind the scenes, I thought they could be sisters in the series too. But that wouldn't cross people's minds until the end when the big truth is revealed, you know. <laughs> uh, next question, does Alice's leg end up okay? Uh, I'll let her take over that. Yes, Alice's leg does end up okay. It was just broken by um, Shelby's dad's magic. But Matthew was severely injured, but he was luckily healed. Not completely, um, because it wasn't really... Well, I think we explained the whole connection between, me, uh, between Alice and Matthew and Fern and Florence. I mean, you get the idea. But in the end, both of them turn out okay over time. It just takes a few weeks to recover, that's all. I mean, that's, that's like how normal injuries end up. Next, uh, what gave me the idea to have a collar change a pet's identity? I think, well, as you know, uh, Jordan had was working for Shelby's dad in disguise, and he had this collar that could change his uh, coat into a brown instead of white when he was first went out with Jules and to spy on the, sister, on the sisters, the girls, I mean, whatever. Well, I don't know. I think it was mostly an idea from My Little Pony Friendship is Magic. It's that I don't want to spoil anything, but there's just this one episode that involves changing forms. That's all I can say because it was just, it was just one of those episodes where it was epic and I'd rather not spoil for those of you who haven't seen it, but for those of you who have seen it, I'm, I think you know what I mean. Next is also a highly requested question. What do I, what editor do I use for editing? Um, for episodes 1 through 8, I used iMovie, and then episodes 9 to present are fi is Final Cut Pro X. Hey guys, um, yeah, it's Popular V63, and if you're wondering why it's black and saying thanks for watching, 
Yeah, I forgot to end the video and I ran out of memory. My battery was low and I didn't get a chance to finish because I've, I've seen the time just now and it's like surpassing like almost 25 minutes now. I didn't want it to be too long. It's also an HD video. So I decided to end it here. I'm really sorry if I didn't get to your question, but probably like I said in the beginning, maybe not, but I didn't, might not have not gotten to yours because I ran out of time. But if you have any questions, like maybe I can try to answer them in the comments below. So if you have any questions, just let me know in the comments. And if you have any other questions not regarding season one of Real Secrets, you can always ask me on ask.fm. So, um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video and answered some of your frequently asked questions. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.